Norwegian ambassador to Ghana, Gunan Holmes, has cautioned team members of the Great Pedro Football Academy to pay equal attention to both soccer and their education. According to him, he first established contact with Great Pedro Academy through a colleague at the embassy and has met talented young players when he attended one of their games. He was speaking at the unveiling ceremony of Great Pedro Academy held at Jamestown, Manchagbona Park, here in Accra. Dignitaries like Fred Papo, Philip Gutin Amamu, Ambassador of Norway to Ghana, Gunnar Holmes, titles Esel Kwame Odui, Ejako, all attended the grand ceremony. The guest speaker was Osimanu Isaka. Ambassador Gunnar Holmes unveiled a picture of the Academy dressing room, uniform and astroturf. I, I got to know Great Padua because a uh, new come to Ghana quite regularly. He established contact with the f uh, Football Academy through a colleague of mine at the embassy and uh, that's how we got to uh, got to know the club, Great Padua, and we were invited to uh, one of the uh, matches between the teams and then we were invited to the unveiling of the uh, exhibition here and the whole ceremony, it is, so it has really been a great experience for my wife and myself. I'm really impressed by how the management of the academy is able to mobilize the kids and of course the importance that they put on education. This is not only about becoming a footballer, it's not only about wanting to be the next Messi, it's about being uh, both mind and body. You, you learn how to play soccer, but you also educate and you learn how to be a citizen in Ghana. Speaking to TV Africa Sports, a member of the board of directors of Pedua, Fred Papo, said the academy has its doors open to children with a football passion, not only in Accra, but also outside the capital, even though there is present concentration on the children from Jamestown and its surrounding environs. Well, I think it's been very impressive, a very wonderful program, but not just a program, I believe the whole initiative is very commendable and uh, we must really uh, yeah, say a very big thanks and kudos to Mr. Nia Ihamon, the originator of the overall initiative for what is done, you know, picking all these kids and then bringing them under one roof to train them not only in football, but uh, educate them also and then... Uh, teach them some elements of social responsibility. It's quite good. It's a wonderful initiative and I believe it must be commended. In the first place, uh, Nia, the originator of the idea, is not a football agent. So that should tell you where it's coming from. It started from the scratch with these young boys and then they kept training them at the fire service training grounds until they moved to uh, the idea, the motivation is different. But ultimately, when the boys come of age and they become marketable, by that time the board would have put a lot of things together We'll make sure the right regulations are passed and then definitely at the end of the day this body will be running under the Ghana Football Association where there are very strict there's going to be very strict rules on academies and the rest to prevent the unfortunate situation where the children get exploited as they move outside to see greener pastures so definitely something we are going to look out for the good thing is that quite a number of us on the board are people who are aware of the dangers or such risks so we won't sit back for that. We won't sit by for that. It's, that would be most unfair.